love story Ta, 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 ta Another ending love story Ta, 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 ta Another ending love story Ta, 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 ta Another ending love story I guess Which I love and it no work me And your pretty smile me see the earth me well, going on, people? What's going on? Yes, it's Monday, guys. We are here. We're up. We're thankful. We're blessed. We feel blessed. And so we're just going to get right into this video, guys. On September 28th, dancehall recording artist Massacre released his latest single entitled Love Story. Guys, let me tell y'all. I see the growth in the artist. Yeah, me see it. I see it guys listen let me well y'all know I'm a fan of dance alright and I'm definitely definitely a fan of Massacre. I think Massacre is one of the most underrated dancehall artists there is. You understand? There are a few others along with him that I think are very underrated, but I think that Massacre is one of the most underrated dancehall artists. I mean when you talk about lyrics, you understand? Lyrics. Yeah, I listen, guys, like Massacre be on repeat in my car okay like on repeat in my car that's how much you know what i'm saying like maria the artist i really really enjoy listening to his music his music give me that energy give me that rush give me that vibe you know what i'm saying like just he's he's so versatile in my opinion so versatile when it comes to the dancehall arena you know and yeah big up massacre big up massacre yeah all right now we head over to the island of dominica where on friday natives and residents celebrated what is called creole day guys this is when they dress up they all dress up in um their native wear and they speak only creole guys take a look at these beautiful photos Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and his wife and children. Over to the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, the St. Kitts and Nevis nursing body mourns the loss of its dearly beloved sister, Sister Eulanis Brown. Sister Brown was laid to rest on Saturday, October 30th, and will be dearly missed. In other news, we head over to Trinidad and Tobago. Cops suspect bizarre ritual as a dead sex traffickers grave upturned. Charles, 40, aka Papa, of Mon Diablo Penal Rock Road was shot dead around 3.35 p.m. last week Sunday behind a shop near his home. His funeral took place on Thursday, following which he was buried at the Penal Rock Road Cemetery. However, hours after his funeral, the mother of four of his children received information that his grave had been upturned. When she visited the cemetery, the soil around his grave had been dug up. She then went to the police requesting permission to exhume the body. I am just doing this to make sure that the body that I left there is there. This is just for my peace, she stated. After receiving a tip-off that the body of murdered human trafficker Keon Charles had been exhumed and dismembered, police returned to the cemetery yesterday morning to dig up his grave. But after digging for two hours, they found the body intact. Lord Jesus, what is the world coming to? Alright, 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 guys. It's time for the BWOB of the week. The black woman owned business shout out guys yeah and this week it goes to here by Donisha guys I've been following Donisha for a minute guys and let me tell you something guys she girl of talent girl good Anyway, guys, you guys can go check her out on Instagram at Here by Darnisha. Guys, make your appointments. Oh, and she's based in Trinidad. She is based in Trinidad, guys. I've been following her for a minute, and girl, good. Mm -hmm. She's good. 
all right so make sure you make your appointments you guys can get in her dms at three two nine five three three eight to book your appointments okay all right guys take a look at this random facebook picture guys this is a photo of um the late princess diana and her two sons prince harry and prince williams on the island of nevis guys this is a spot that they used to love to hang out at in the caribbean and you know they were quite often spotted on the island and uh, you know i came across this photo and i thought that i wanted to share it so i know i know i know i know kittishans and divisions and those in the diaspora i know you guys are waiting on carnival okay i know and guess what acting chief medical officer dr cameron wilkinson also believes that a safe carnival can be realized this year but noted that no decision had been made on the matter Dr. Cameron also stated, I am pretty certain that at the end of the day, we believe if last year we had some degree of carnival with no one vaccinated with our high vaccination rate, we should be able to have a number of events, specifically events that are in a closed setting with vaccinated persons safely. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> guys, to subscribe. Bye.